Oh, by the way, the the thing with this game series supposedly is that all these stories are like real, you know, real, and uh, they're submitted to the game creator, and then he turns like stories from like Reddit or something like that, and he turns them into video games, which is pretty interesting. And uh, I guess I don't know the legitimacy of them. So for now, we'll just take it as these are real stories. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about th this bit because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. Had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. Couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out, out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. What a lovely day it is here out in the country. Oh, it's Mac Miller. Escape to read messages. Probably shouldn't text and drive. What's going on? This is me holding up the phone like this up to my eyes, by the way. Boy, what's going on? I wonder. Should we play chicken versus a truck? I've always loved the great outdoors. Hey, it looks like the outside of my house. It has all those god a bunch of ravens have taken over my house. I remember there's the diner while passing to have them try them out. All right, cool. I'm glad I uh, almost died checking a text of a burger. I need gas. I heard you guys have good burgers. Good. How about you? Feel free to take a seat. Uh, you. I've always had this habit of uh, pissing before I touch any food. I always manage to spray on the seat by accident. Yo, that looks good though. Damn. That looks pretty good. I am consuming. I'm a fucking alien. He's using photosynthesis. He's like a flower. As long as I'm near the food, I can absorb its nutrients. Here's a check. Your total is $7.06. Man, you ain't getting fucking tipped for what? Bring me my burger? <laughs> I love trolling people. You look a little lost. Just passing through. So where are you heading? That's none of your business. I guess not. <laughs> I went up and stared at him like this until he talked to me and then I told him to get out of my face. Oh! Sorry. Watch where you're going. <laughs> what happened to the old classic days of uh, when people knew how to drive? What asshole parked his van over here? It is dark. Do I have like a flashlight or something? Hey, hey. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Why would you do that? What's wrong with you? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? May Lord have mercy. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I hooked it. Well, it should be fine there. That's fine. Oh, looks like that's our, that's our boy. All right, home. Cabin was filled with an aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. He loves the smell of wood. There's gasoline all oh shit. Gasoline all over the floor. Alright. Now they're gonna 
<laughs> I just saw me as Big Dick Drac on the list. Lifeguard in the forest? Yeah, you are. You check out for like fires and stuff. You're a fire guard. Uh oh. Aliens? <gasps> Hello? Connor? I had to pee. Really? Now? There's like literally some shit going down. I gotta pee. Where's my light? I ain't going out with my damn light. <laughs> with all that bear base. I'm gonna be honest, if I was in this tower, I would never pee. Pee off the tower? That's a good idea. That's probably what I'd do. Well, I'm taking my bear mace. Hey, there we go. You just pee off the tower. Ah, nice. Uh-oh. I saw a flashlight over there. Sp spray bear mace all over so the bed bugs die. Alright. Look how peaceful this is. It's just you and the wind, and time just melts away. Delicious coffee. What a lovely day. I'm sure nothing bad will ever happen. And then press space to get off. Hey, what? Hey, buddy. Copy that, Connor. What's up? What? Uh-oh. Oh shit, somebody's stealth camping. The smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. Let me get my goddamn bear mace. Didn't even get to have breakfast. I haven't even put pants on. Fine, let's travel what looks like 40 miles. Just wait till I pepper spray these goddamn teenagers. Like, it's been so long, by the way. Out in nowhere, I'm gonna run into these teenagers and they're probably gonna beat me to death. I heart Jen. She gives the best head. <laughs> I can see why he loves her. Who did that? Somebody's out here. These damn teenagers playing the violin. Hey! Kids! Get the f Oh. They're gone. Reply when you see this. Send pics when you do. She needs to send me some pics. I'm up here alone, Jen. These dang teenagers. You know what? I'm gonna give them the scare of a lifetime. Let's get in the tent so that when they get back, we jump out. Who's there? Show yourself. I told you, man, they're hiding and then they're gonna come and beat me to death. You think these kids are doing the devil's lettuce? That's probably why they're, why they're so rowdy. You know what? So when they come back and lie down, they're like, why do my eyes sting? And then we we zip it up. So if they when they open it back up, they basically get a giant spray. All right. We're good, right? We can go home. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake a sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think that, think what might have happened. Yeah, you didn't the ants are carrying the pot away? That's, that's pretty good. Those are some strong ants. What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. What's that out there? Oh, that's a piece of, I think, dust in the front of the screen. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. That's a nice looking lasagne. Is that mozzarella? Oh, it is. Mozzarella, pepperonis, uh, and then tomatoes. Those are potatoes. Where are the goddamn tomatoes? Oh. Oh. And then we wait an hour. Oh, uh, it's a little cloudy, actually. Maybe with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> Clouds. There we go. Pepperoni Steve and I helped 12 people. Look at that. Everybody zero, 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 one. 
Pepperoni Steve with 12 people. Guess I'm just more of a hero than them. How can I make your day better, he said. Take me to Pornhub, smiley face. What's in my flash drive? Cats? It's like a cat music video. Oh, food's ready. I fucked it up. I'm really making mate. Oh, it needs a little bit more sea. Like, uh, maybe a little spicier, like a pepper. Just a little bit of. A little more peppery on it. Mm. That's good. <laughs> Time for sleep. Oh, shit. We're out of wood. I'm gonna have to go down, aren't I? I feel like if it came to being like midnight and I had to go down and get some wood, I'd just. I'm out of here. I know I heard whistling and somebody scurrying up. I'll teach him a fucking lesson. Who did that? Take a fucking can of tuna, bitch! I was woken up by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Come in here, I dare you, dude. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. Aw, oh, they left me a present. You have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door! Connor! Kids, it's 2 a.m., dog. I'm sure everything will be fine. I thought he was going to make me go outside and shut the the shutter, by the way. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. It cuts straight to nighttime. There's some dirty ass fuck. He could at least clean them. What was that flare? I'm sure it's nothing. Let's get to bed. Hello? Uh -oh. Is anyone there? Who the hell is that? I need help, please. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. It's a hiker. I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. It'll be morning soon, don't worry. <laughs> 9 p.m. <laughs> I think I'm lost. Can you describe what you're clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Camo? I'll never find them. On this trail surrounded by trees, everything looks different at night. I know exactly where you are. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Uh... <laughs> I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Did I get the right, right way? I hear you. I hear your whistles. Uh-oh! Uh oh! You're freaking me out. Did someone just knock on my door? No one's home. Maybe I can pretend that there's nobody here. Get bear maced! Oh my god! <laughs> my eyes! <laughs> lie to him nothing much <laughs> so about the hiker who anyways got your tower supplies here just the usual essentials 
Here you go. I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. It looks like it weighs like six pounds. And, oh, it does. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of that ass. Don't tell me it's cold and you're going to want me to go. <sighs> Where's my pepper? I fucking stupid. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> My fucking heart. <laughs> Don't worry, you took us all out with you. It's fine. Everyone's <laughs> everyone's having a heart attack. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just gave me a heart attack. Who are you? <laughs> I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. <laughs> Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. What? Why does everybody... He let somebody die. <laughs> Bad Rack Back, thank you for the 43 long months. Did I put out the campfire? I did put out the campfire. Holy shit, man. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. What? Why does everybody... He let somebody die. Hope you sleep well, but remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Who the fuck is this guy who has mumps? What a weirdo. Anyways, I need to go change my pants now. Ran into Silas downstairs. Uh oh. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Its repair costs were deemed too costly. But Silas. The repair day was postponed until the next. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. Yeah, take a photo of his face. Anyways, right in front of him. That you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Tower twelve, signing off. I thought Silas was my friend. Why does it lag when I stand up? Oh fuck, I left my spray downstairs, didn't I? Okay, I'll just spray here like this, and then if he gets in, I'll fall asleep with the matches on me. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. <laughs> it just cuts to me playing basketball with Silas. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Reset the whole system. Is it gonna ask me to get more firewood? I really had to pee before going back up. Pee then. Can I see through that door? Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do was check in on Connor twice a day. Might have been the only time I ever talked. Uh-oh. That's never good. We got another one. Oh, boy. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. My ground beef is still on the floor. Seeing more smoke to my west. Oh, we shoot. Dang it. You know what? No, I don't see it. I'm going back to bed. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. We don't let you deal with this one. What? If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. 
What, if the a fucking gang of them beat me to death? Don't worry, just call HQ if a gang starts whooping on you. Oh, I see them over there, those bastards. They're on their camp, too. Didn't feel safe going downstairs. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do? Fly over there. Uh -oh. What? <laughs> they saw the flash? Oh, they're running. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <gasps> Alright, chat. You guys are gonna have to be quiet. Shh. So you're saying that me pepper spraying him didn't work? Try again. <laughs> God damn it. Huh? He sounds like that cat. Should have brought a better tool with me. All I brought was my binoculars, not even a light. What's gonna happen here? Is he part of it? Where's my RV? They towed it! Oh shit, they towed my RV! Stuck! Go! As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. 
Out of breath, I radioed in an alert to HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. What the f- Who's, He's the guy from The Shining or some shit? Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. The unease still sits very heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience was, still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Please be careful when you run into a cult performing a ritual out in the middle of the woods. So what was that about the whistling man? See, this is why if we go camping, we need to bring a gun. And that is, uh, the camping game. I mean, <laughs> the ranger game. The anti-camping game.